Hey, do you guys remember what happened the last time I opened Donruss Football Hobby? Let's take a trip down memory lane. Flashback. Tom Brady. There you go. There is your Tom Brady base. Uh, card number one in the set. There's your Tom Brady base for 2021. This might be our auto right here. Oof. Let's go. 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 Oh my God. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. No way. No way. No way. Five of five Tom Brady auto. Are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? <laughs> End of flashback. So per the rules of the hobby, I don't think I'm allowed to complain about this product ever again for the rest of my life. That being said, I can't wait to see what piece of sh auto we're going to pull this time around. Let's get into it. What's going on YouTube? Run Good coming at you with a brand new product release and today we're checking out some 2022 Don Russ football. Now this product is coming in very late this year. Last year's release came in in September 2021. It's now February. The Super Bowl has already been decided but we have a little Don Russ football action. We have 180 cards in this box. One autograph, one memorabilia. I'm going to sh bricks today if we pull another Tom Brady auto like I did last year. What an amazing moment. That was my biggest and remains my biggest personal football pool of all time. Uh, I did sell that Brady auto when I was in Las Vegas um, about a month later for about uh, $5,500, 5000 cash and 500 trade to Legacy Sports Cards in Las Vegas. Uh, we're going to get into ripping this box early. It is a $235 box of Don Russ football. Uh, these are hobby boxes. Retail should be coming out shortly. Um, one autograph, one memorabilia. We are looking for 18 rated rookies, so one rated rookie per pack. Looking for, for Super Bowl downtowns, night moves, and more. So, uh, yes, downtowns are in, just like with Optic Hobby uh, Football, or Optic Football. Downtowns are first featured in Donruss. They actually have a bordered design this year, which I don't know how I feel about them yet. The Santa Claus downtown is in card number one in the checklist, causing quite a bit of drama in the hobby. But what I will say regarding that card is it should hold its value more than uh, pretty much half the checklist, I would say. Definitely some of the rookies. Um, so if we pull the Santa Claus downtown, I would actually be quite happy. Um, so 180 cards total. This one coming in at $235 per a box as of right now. Did sell out immediately on Friday on Panini's website at uh, $220. Here's the design. I don't like this Don Russ design. I'm going to be just straight up. And, and like I said, I'm not supposed to complain. But I'm going to complain about the uh, design. <laughs> uh, do we have a spacer? There is a look at a rookie. That is Kyle Hamilton. Just a very busy design. Very blocky design. We've seen this before with other Don Russ products. So it's not a new design to us. Just new to football. Not a fan of the design. There is the rookie's John Mechie. He sat out the whole year. Hopefully, he'll be back in strong. We have a Dominators of Aaron Rodgers. A Gridiron Kings. Kind of kind of cool on the uh, canvas stock right there of Sauce. And then a throwback to the 2002 Donruss design, which I do remember. And that is uh, Warren Moon. So, we'll keep it on rolling. Looking for one auto. Looking for one mem. I do think that this one is going to be very, very tough to get your money back. I would actually, at this price point, probably stick to a product like uh, Mosaic Fast Break or uh, Mosaic No Huddle, excuse me. Just at this price point, I do think it's going to be very, very hard. Rookie right here is going to be Brandon Smith. Is going to be very hard to make your money back. Now, some boxes will if you pull a downtown or maybe a night moves. Uh, you should do well. But with that said, I just I think that this price point is a little rough. The price is wrong. Uh, we have a, uh, that is going to be an Elite Series right there of Deontay Johnson. Elite Series used to be really, really popular back in the, uh, back in the 90s, and now it's just kind of an insert. Uh, Kirk Cousins on the Press Proof Red. I would like this product a whole lot more at around the $135 to $150 range, so drop $100 off the price, and I would like it quite a bit. 
but as it stands right now, I just think that this one's a bit too expensive. Uh, auto checklist is not horrible. Some of the resale value that we're seeing out of the gate for some of these cards, not too bad. Uh, some of the uh, rookie singles are actually outselling their mosaic counterparts, which is strange. It makes no sense. Outright price manipulation. I expect things to average out. As more of this gets ripped, uh, it will become a uh, supply over demand issue. There's a Jordan Davis rookie. Uh, we've got Traylon Burks on the rookies, and that is going to be a canvas rookie, Alec Pierce. I don't know how many of these we are going to get per box, um, but these are some of the more desired, desired rookies on that canvas stock. And then a Michael Pittman Jr. press proof. So we'll keep it on rolling today. I want to say thank you for joining me. Sorry if my voice is a little raspy. Picked up a little bit of a sore throat, so hopefully it's nothing. We'll see. Um, but we will keep it on rolling. Uh, today, a lot of, lot of cards to look at. Uh, JC Horn and Carson Strong is our rookie right there. Uh, Dominators is going to be Debo Samuel. We've got a Tyquan Thornton, Mr. TT on the rookies. And that is going to be another Elite Series. This time we've got George Pickens. Pick it to Pickens, a name you're going to hear quite a bit in the uh, years to come. Jerome Ford on the Press Proof Red. So if you like ripping packs, if you like putting a set together, this product is probably going to sing to your heart uh, and maybe if you just want to rip some cheap packs uh, retail might be your way to go of course blasters will be $30 but for the price of a hobby box you can pick up eight of them which is uh, like 88 packs because if they do it the same as last year in retail you get 11 packs per blaster which is quite a bit uh, rookie right here is going to be Zamir White we have a number is this a number no action all pro excuse me and this might be an auto. Nope. Uh, that is going to be another canvas. That is Isaiah Spiller. Canvas uh, Canvas rookies look really good. Feel really good in hand. Always look good. And then we do have a uh, JJ Watt. And that is going to be a numbers. I think uh, not. Yeah, number to 99. Number to jersey number on those. So you can see the 99 right above JJ Watt's name. Him calling it a career. JJ calling it a career. You know, good career for him. I respect it. Keep it on rolling. See what we can find today. See if we can find it down. We have a redemption, and if if Tom Brady was gonna be a redemp was gonna be an auto in this set, I would imagine maybe a redemption. Do we do it now or do we wait? Um, let's sweat it out. Let's sweat it out. Let's 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 wait. That is our one auto per box. Uh, so, I gotta be a good YouTuber here. I, I gotta make y'all wait or skip to the end because that's what you'll probably do. Well, why are you pulling me? I'm right. Uh, Marquez Callaway on the highlights. and Man, I don't think anybody needs to see this set design ever again. It's fun to celebrate old set designs, but we don't need to see 1992 Donruss. I can assure you of that. We might have... There might be a spacer in here. Yeah, there's a spacer. I was gonna say we might have both hits back to back. A lot of base, so if, if base is your thing, if putting sets together is your thing, this will be a fun product for you. Uh, Keontae Ingram right there. We have a Dominators, that is going to be Mr. Kyle Pitts. Uh, Gridiron Kings, Joe Beasy. And then a 2002. Man, how the times changed over the course of uh, 10 years. Look at these set designs. 2002, we have this nice design. This one, man, I'm not nostalgic for that one at all. It's the biggest piece of dog I want to say on the subject of nostalgia, nostalgia, thank you all so much for the very positive review and uh, positive comments on my video from Friday, Unboxing Murderer's Row. That was just a real, real tr treat for me. If you haven't seen that one, you're going to want to. It is one of the craziest boxes you will see from 2009. Bo Melton right there on the uh, Rookie. Uh, we have an elite series of Jalen Tolbert. Man, that kind of looked like a one on one for a second right there. Uh, that is a press proof of uh, Evan McPherson. And a kid reporter, which uh, that's long done and over with. So I don't know what we're doing right there, Panini. We're just wasting trees. Just wasting trees. Uh, keep it on rolling. Not too many numbered cards so far today. A little sad about that. Jameson Williams on the rookie. We have our first Malik on the rookies. Yeah, the rookie's looking good this year. Uh, Shaquille uh, Leonard, that is going to be a Gridiron Kings rookie of Aiden. And then a press proof of Kenneth Gainwell. Let's give those a courtesy sleeve as we keep it on rolling today. And uh, still about half the box left. Here's a fun YouTube content creators challenge. 
Rip a full box of Donruss in under 15 minutes. Try, try to do your video under 15. It's too tough. Arnold Evacetti on the rookie. That is going to be a no-name of uh, Dak Prescott. A no-name I actually recognize. Brees Hall on the rookies. We've got Leonard Fournette on the uh, Power Plus. And then a Warren Moon on the Press Proof Red. Let's see, we're still looking for our one memorabilia in this box. And we haven't seen anything really of value. So it's going to come down to the redemption pretty much. We've seen a couple $2 and $3 cards, but nothing crazy. Uh, Sky Moore. I wonder if Isaac Pacheco is in this set. His elite rookie is pretty much his only rookie and sells for quite a pretty penny. Dominators of Josh Allen. We have Bayless Jones on the canvas. And that is going to be Saquon Barkley, number to 100 on the foil with a horrible upper upper right corner right there. Bayless Jones Jr. on the canvas rookie. And we will keep it on rolling. Expecting to see like a second auto. We hit that first auto so early. I almost think we're going to see a second auto. I could be wrong. Probably wrong. Always wrong if you ask my wife. Uh, Martin Emerson rated rookie right there. That is going to be an action all pro of Devontae Adams. And hey, hey, how cool would it be if this, this guy was on this second year in a row? It's not going to happen. Tom Brady on the 1992 insert. I actually kind of like that one. Now, I'm not a fan of this design, but... I am a fan of TB12. Kind of shocked still that he called it a career. Did not expect that at all. Didn't expect that at all. Um, but I can. I thought he was going to keep playing. I really did. Uh, that is going to be a Drake London rookie right there. We've got a Dominators of Kamara. Legend series of Heinz Ward. Antonio Gibson on the franchise futures. And uh, Leonard Williams. So a whole giant stack of base. So much so that I'm going to set that off to the side in order to keep going uh, Stafford uh, keep it on roll and not a whole lot in this box so far this one's headed uh, man this one's headed uh, headed to uh, loser territory Jalen Tolbert <laughs> loser territory uh, where I reside according to my wife uh, once again you are a clown you do not belong near me I uh, had an amazing Valentine's Day with my wife. Got got to get away for a couple days. And uh, yeah, it was it was good. So I enjoyed a little time off of YouTube here. And uh, getting back into the grind of things. And uh, we should have a couple break nights as normal this week. We are going to have our mem right here. Our mem right here. So we have an elite series of Carson Wentz. Fans of the game. These are highly controversial. Uh, especially, I believe, Mark Wahlberg had a horrible signature. And people were absolutely roasting him on social media about it. So the fans of the game autographs are in the set. This could be a fans of the game redemption. That would be hilarious. Uh, fans of the game are back in. They were in a few years ago. I can't remember the last time we saw them. Uh, that is a Michael Pittman Jr. on the press proof. Bunch of base. And then our mem. One mem per uh, George Pickens. And Eric Dickerson on the Canton Kings. That is numbered to 199. Cool looking card. Kind of cool. Kind of looks like a carnival almost actually at the top. Like the up top a little bit. Like a, I don't know. Authentic memorabilia is not from any specific game or event. You mean to tell me that Eric Dickerson did not play enough games for Panini to get a player worn or a game used jersey? What? We could put, you mean to tell me. You mean to tell me we can put any Hall of Famer on these things because these aren't game used? They could all be Tom Brady. They, I guess not because it's Canton Kings and he's not in the Hall of Fame yet. But you mean to tell me we can't just get the top 20 football players in the Hall of Fame of all time and just put them on there? Sorry Rams fans if you're a Dickerson fan, I guess. But if you're telling me these can't be game used, then, then what are we really doing here? What are we really doing here? Oh man. This box is really, really good. I feel a die cut on the back, I think. This box is really going to come down to that redemption. Are we going to go Tom Brady two years in a row? Is that going to happen? We'll see. All right, we've got Nick Bonito. Dominators of Cooper Cup. Gridiron Kings of uh, Dan Marino. Devontae Wyatt is going to be numbered to 75. I would have loved to see Christian Watson right there. But you never know what the future is with Christian Watson with... Reports that Rodgers is not going to be coming back to the Packers. 
I don't know. Will uh, Jordan Love be taking over the reins in Green Bay next year? Way too early to tell. Way too early to tell. Coming up down to the wire here. Not much in this box. Trey McBride. We have a highlights of Cooper Cup. And uh, also TJ Watt on the 92. Gonna come down to this redemption. And <laughs> I don't think I can bank a Brady two years in a row, can I? Especially not after calling my shot on the white sparkle packs last week. Pretty much begging the card gods for a Brady and, and getting one at the end of the video. I can't do that two weeks in a row, can I? No chance. Trayvon Walker on the rookies. Quay Walker on the canvas. And uh, the throwback is Jamal Charles. And this is what we've all been waiting for. Let's be honest. About 10 minutes ten minutes ago, this the video could have just been over. Uh, George Pickens is going to be on the rookies auto. So... George Pickens, and, and what a rough box of Don Russ that was, but like I said at the start of the video, after popping a $5,000 Tom Brady to 5 autograph from last year's box, I don't think I'm allowed to say anything bad about this one this year. Um, so George Pickens on the auto, we did get some canvas rookies, a Trayvon Walker, Devontae Wyatt, Eric Dickerson on the, the off-the-rack mem, fans of the game of Wahlberg. There's our only Brady that we got. Dak, no name, Malik. Uh, Gridiron Kings of Aiden. JJ Watt to 99. But man, man, I don't know. Other than the pickings, I think I think I see about $30 of value here. So this one was exceptionally bad. Now, typically in the hobby, what I see on a bad box, you typically get about, I don't know, about 20% return on investment, 20 to 25, which would put this in the. 40 to 50 dollar range and i gotta be honest looking at this stack of cards uh, i don't know if i see 40 to 50 dollars worth of cards here uh so this one was spectacularly bad and uh like i said i don't think that i personally have a right to complain after last year but i do think that a lot of people should be asking themselves why are you spending 235 dollars for this product when Mosaic No Huddle exists for $300, and that is a significantly better product in my opinion. Um, so this one, I think I think the price point is not correct on this one. Not a product that I like. Some people will make a lot of money on this product if they hit a downtown or a night moves, especially a downtown of one of the rookies or that Santa Claus, which I think I saw comps at over 500 bucks. which like I said, that one's going to actually sell a lot better than people think. That being said, uh, Optic Downtowns will be better than the Downtowns featured in Donruss. Optic, of course, also the Chase comes in gold and uh, Pandora and also uh, 101 gold vinyl 101s. Uh, so I do think gold vinyl one, gold Downtowns, I'm trying to remember. I, I think I just got them confused with Kabooms. Either way, there will be two different versions of Downtowns this year. These will be the least desirable of the two. $235, this is a pass for me, guys. Um, you know, if you picked one up at your LCS last week, let me know how you did. Let me know how your best, what your best hit was. If you hopped into any breaks, let me know if you hit anything cool. Otherwise, I will just catch y'all next time on Down the Road.